So this could get super awkward. <laughs> So for today's video I thought I would do just a little sit down and chatty kind of video. Um, I want to branch away from just doing hauls and superficial things and things like that because for me there's a lot of other things I want to do, some of which do include like room tours and what's in my bathroom, like what's in my makeup drawers, like ways I store things, budget things. I've got so many ideas of things. I don't want to just sort of narrow my channel down to one thing. And today I thought I would talk about something that all women suffer with at some point in their life, or most women do, but yet no one talks about. And if you do talk about it, it's kind of like, ew, that's gross, Ooh, kind of thing. And it shouldn't be. And so I really wanted to make a video to kind of have a chat with you. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking about vaginas and keeping them clean and problems you might have with them and all those sorts of things um, and how very common a lot of the problems are. So firstly, I want to talk about the problems and then I'm going to talk about like keeping yourself clean and um, you know, sorting yourself out from problems. So the first and sort of most talked about, and they talk about it on the in onto interwebs on the TV all the time is a yeast infection. Ooh, I can imagine you're all going at your screens. But a yeast infection is really, really, very, very common. So many women get them. You're definitely, well, you're probably 99% guaranteed to get one during your lifetime. You can get them from taking certain tablets. You can get them from just having a bad time. <laughs> you can get them for so many different reasons and. They're really easy to sort out. Um, the first thing that's always recommended is that you go to a doctor to get it confirmed. But there are signs of it that you can tell it's a yeast infection, and you can go and bite if you're like sort of one of those people who are really embarrassed to talk about yourself at the doctor, which you shouldn't be. But if you are, you can go to the doctors and buy certain things that will fix you down there and help with the itchiness that comes with thrush. So symptom one is. Um, abnormal vaginal discharge, sort of like thick, kind of, as they describe it, cottagey cheese kind of discharge. You might have a funny smell to it. It just doesn't feel comfortable. Um, you'll notice there's probably more of it. It's not a nice feeling. Um, some women, and I've never had this when I've had a yeast infection, but some women have pain during sex, but I think that probably for me, I can tell a yeast infection a mile off, so I won't have sex during that time because you can pass it on. So. I try and avoid that, but you can have pain during sex, you can have pain during urination as well, and you can also have things like abnormal bleeding sort of outside your menstrual cycle. Now, you can have sort of a simple swab test, like I say, at your doctor's, but if you have had a yeast infection before, and you already know what the signs are, or you're well informed, you can just go to your pharmacy and buy the Caniston, they've got duos for all sorts, you can ask the pharmacist which one they think is the best. You can now actually as well buy the Caniston um, tester kits to tell you whether, they, whether you do actually have a yeast infection or BV, which I'll explain in a minute, um, which I'm tempted to do like a review of and see if it actually works. Um, but yeah, that's, that's problem number one you may face. The next one is BV, which I was just talking about, which is bacteri bacterial vaginosis. Again, it's another type of infection, but it's quite a mild infection. And actually, I find this is actually almost more common than thrush, that people just very easily get confused as to which one they have. Um, usually the way that you get this is because um, you're over cleaning yourself. Now a lot of people seem to think that things like thrush and BV and things like that are dirty diseases but actually it's normally because you're over cleaning yourself um, that's the problem. So um, using things like um, scented sort of, even if it's for down there, scented products and anything like that, you shouldn't really be washing yourself with anything other than a little bit of water every now and again. You shouldn't really douche yourself or anything like that. Your body has a very clever way of cleaning itself. Think back to caveman times, they clean themselves just fine. But generally, if you mess with the pH balance of your vagina, um, you can get something like BV. Generally with something like BV as well, it will go away on its own within a few days. If it hasn't, then it's time to kind of take action and do something about it. You can also get this and 
also thrush as well if you have sex with more than one partner if you're having a lot of sex so this is why a lot of women get it because generally when you meet a partner for the first time you're at that like lovey-dovey stage where you're going to be having a lot of sex and things can happen the symptoms of this are kind of similar to um thrush except for your discharge it's more of like a greyish yellowish and may have like a fishy smell to it uh, which can be worse after sex and it has a very similar way of being fixed. Normally your doctor will give you some antibiotics or you'll have something like a pessary that you'll put in your vagina and that will help like clean things out. So the last one is probably the worst one really in my eyes just because it's the hardest one to find until it's kind of too late almost and that's chlamydia. Um, and I'm not going to do a whole like STD like PSA here but um, Chlamydia is generally undetectable um, in women until it gets to a point where it can ruin your ovaries and you may not be able to have children. So it's something that you should be really careful about and if you're going to have sex with somebody and you're not going to use a condom, even if it's a long term partner, and I'm not saying you shouldn't trust your partners, I've been engaged for four years, but it's still a good idea to have regular checkups. Maybe every time you get a pill, all you need to do as a woman is do a pee they can test it like that and you should be good to go but leaving things like that for years can cause huge problems um, and again the symptoms are very similar like a lot of the time if your vagina is you know giving out discharge which isn't normal um, smells funny is kind of itchy you might have abnormal bleeding you might have pain down there um, a lot of those things can be linked to any of the three that I've talked about. It's something that you should go to your doctors about and not feel ashamed about regardless. If you feel ashamed, ask for a woman doctor um, if you feel like a bit nervy about having to go and actually talk to talk to like a male doctor if that's who your usual doctor is. You can ask specifically for a female doctor. Um, I've had to go for the, to the hospital to have like a camera up my wee hole before uh, for an ongoing problem which I want to talk about in another video. Just, you know, it's better safe than sorry. They've seen way worse than they've seen it all before. So there's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's something that is just very, very important is your hygiene. If you do have um, reoccurring things like BV or thrush, and I've had problems with this in the past, um, my recommendation is get some baking soda, uh, like half a cup or something, pour it into a bath. Don't fill the bath all the way up. Fill the bath up enough so you can sink your lower half into it. Um, soak in that for sort of 10-15 minutes, do it for maybe a week um, at, at, a, at a time and you should be good to go. Baking soda is one of those things that's incredible for all sorts of things, um, so I really, really highly recommend doing that. So let's get talking about this in the comments below, um, let's have a nice girly chat and a grown up chat as well because there are some of us who are slightly immature on the internet. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video. It's a little bit different to what I usually do, but I just wanted to come on here and have a quick chat about your health. I've got lots of health-related videos that I want to, to bring out um, in the future, sort of mental health-related, physical health-related. I want to tell you about my health problem that I've got ongoing, um, because somebody else might be struggling with the same thing, but I think I'll do that a little bit further down the line. So that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know that you know you hear me go and you know you're not. We're all online. Let's get going in the comments. Like I said, um, also give me some video ideas. I've got lots in the pipeline, but I always love to hear what you want to see because that inspires me to make more videos. Um, other than that, I hope you had a really good day, week, weekend, blah blah blah. Like the video, give it a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in my next video.